Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome back to Icarus. I've spent the past day or so just harvesting up some resources and getting some of those new workbenches that we unlocked last time crafted here and set down inside our house. I also crafted up a set of bone armor, so here's a look at that. So we've got the machining bench here, the carpentry bench, which is currently working on refined wood. And I also made this cooking bench over here. I made a mortar and pestle. And I love how you can just set down any workstation on top of another workstation, really. I think the decorating is gonna be great here once we get into that. And this is the skidding bench over here for uh, processing animals. And whoop, yep, we've uh, suffered a couple of damaged pieces to the fence out here. This is why I really didn't want to make this out of wood. It looks nice, but it just it doesn't withstand the storms. Time maintenance. Maybe we'll um, see if there's some other type of a wood that's more durable here. This is the interior wood that I unlocked before. I unlocked some trim pieces and some decor pieces, ladder, things of that variety. But then we also have these carved wood things, like a carved wood cabinet, wardrobe, shelf, chair, dresser, nightstand, like all kinds of interior furniture. I'd like to get into that eventually, but um, I'm kind of itching to get out of here. I've been crafting for quite a long time. There's there's a lot of just menu time and, um, oh, I need this, go over here, grab that, come back over here. You know, I had to make tree sap, I had to make epoxy, I had, you know, <laughs> a whole chain of things. It looks like probably the next thing on the crafting docket is gonna be this cement mixer here, followed by maybe concrete furnace, and there's also this forge. All right, what do you suppose the sequence of events is to get all of that? How do we get steel anyway? Okay, steel bloom goes to steel ingot. What is steel bloom? I did finally find the search function for this. Steel bloom, is that a thing? <laughs> See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just, I don't know enough yet to be able to just, um, you know, instinctively go from one thing to the next. Everything is very, very much new to me. Oh, I found it right there. It is in the tier two tech steel bloom here. It requires iron ore and coal ore. Okay. Also steel arrows, wouldn't say no to that. Okay, so perhaps we'll have to level up a little bit before we can progress any further, and uh, we are definitely going to do a big expansion project here. And I think what we should do is, um, excuse me, Kiri Kays, can you, can you not stand right in the doorway all the time? Thank you. Maybe we'll um, we'll bring this out just uh, one piece here. We'll have like a covered porch here. Maybe that'll protect the, the front pieces over here a little bit. And then we'll just make a second level up on the top here. We'll do a second level with, uh, I don't know, machinery and stuff upstairs. I don't know. We'll organize it when we get to that point. But for now, let's do a mission. Come over here to the simple or the the what is it yeah simple quests we will do a mining quest which is hard all right here we go straight that way all right let's it's actually not too far away we'll jump on kiri caves anyway since we're doing a mining mission we might need the extra carrying capacity which i am just assuming that we have with this i also saw that we have access to unlock a i think they called it a bison cart or something so my thought is that we could probably tame up a bison at some point, connect a cart to it. And it said that it had a 1000 kilogram carrying capacity. All right, check the map here. Where was that? Oh, I also did learn that you could just double click the map and um, that will put a quick waypoint down for you. Here we go. I don't know what would be in this. We have to go, yes, we have to go mine and then put stuff in that, right? That's how that works and, it, and we need gold ore. Hmm, I wonder if we have to mine it fresh or if we could use the mining, the, the gold ore that we have. Uh, either way, I think I'll just go find a new mining site. Maybe we check this little alcove over here. That looks like that would have a cave over there. We're also kind of on the lookout for sulfur, so keep your eyes peeled. All right, we are here at the edge of the cliffs. And it looks like I was correct in assuming that there's a cave over here. Nice. All right, Kiri, you park it here. I'm gonna start with this sulfur here. Sulfur, right? Yep. Okay, that's it for that. And I'm heading in. All right, be on your guard. We know what lurks in these caves. Whoop. Wow. Danger close, too. Well, someday we'll figure out what all the scales from those worms do. Oh, this is a pretty big cave. Whoa. Hello there. Okay, as long as I can get the drop on him. Oh, wow. One shot kill on that guy. Yeah, as long as I can get the first shot off, I'm pretty confident we can take these guys out. Whoop, another one. Nice. And while we're here, fill up on water. I've been, I figured out how to use water in crafting. It turns out you just put the bladder 
inside the crafting station. Oh, look out. Took a little bit of damage there. Here, eat some food to counteract that. I didn't even think of it, but I should have probably brought some of that antibiotic. I think it was paste. Oh, here's some gold. Uh, wait, before I go any further, is there, I have some talent points and such. Is there anything I can take that increases my harvest? Oh, look at that one. Lucky strike chance to mine a deposit in one hit. <laughs> that sounds like right up my alley there. We'll do slinging stone, then we'll do unburdened, and, and maybe someday soon we'll be able to get that one. Guess we can check the underwater situation here. Uh-oh, probably not a good place to be right now. Oh, there we go. We're good. Wow, this place is loaded with worms. I have heard that there are underwater caves. I can hear another worm. Oh, crap. Where is he? There he is. Got another one somewhere. Oh my god. Get the bow out. Ah! Um, I can hear my horse getting attacked. I need to go check on that. I was wondering what that noise was. I could hear some, like, screaming. I thought it was just, like, ambient worm sounds, but no, that is Kirike's up here. Kiri, are you okay? Oh, oh, killed a wolf. Wow, congratulations. Oh, and it killed another horse. Wow, <laughs> the ultimate badass here. There's another wolf carcass underneath the horse. Wow. We're gonna call you Kiri the Killer now. Did you kill another ho- Oh, oh my God, and a baby. What the hell, man? Okay, are there any more bodies around here that I need to know about? Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, so your health is actually super low now. Okay, um, next time, note to self, bring Kiri into the cave a little bit for protection. I do wanna see Mount Cargo. Okay, so can I- can I load you up? Oh, okay, so Kiri's carrying capacity is 200 kilograms, not too bad. Oh, and I've, I actually harvested 60, uh, 73 ore, wasn't that? Yeah, I only needed 63. Okay, so I think we're done with the gold ore thing. I didn't see any more in the cave anyway. There was just some iron and, you know, the other, the regular resources. I will go back there someday if I need to, but for now, let's go back to the pod. All right, here we are. All right, let's just get get prepared to kind of make a quick escape so that the, the back blast doesn't kill us here. There we go, oh yeah, give me the extras. You're not, <laughs> you're not getting a tip for this one. All right, get out of the way. Whoa, man, look out. Oh, I almost got struck by the reward crate over here. At least what I'm assuming is the reward crate. Yes, okay, iron and oxide, or we can take vegetables, or we can take uh, hunting stuff. I'm gonna go with the, oh geez. I'll go with the cooking stuff because I was looking into the, the cooking station that we have. Where'd you go, Kiri? Uh, I think Kiri was thirsty. Yeah, I was looking into the cooking station and I did make up some what was it called? Corn chowder or something like that? And uh, that was actually really, really good stuff. So I'm gonna continue trying to gather up vegetables for the specialized cooking recipes. Ah, Kiri's stuck. I need to go easy on the corn chowder there. Okay, let's look here. Kiri's having a quick snack here. Health is 41%. Okay, food went up to 100%. Health went up to 44. Okay, health is regenerating now. All right, let's have a look at the cooking station and see what we can do here. Stack in all the food that I got today. Soybeans and okay, we can make some animal fat. I think that's a cooking ingredient for many of these. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually turn the gamey meat and the stringy meat into good quality raw meat. I can make some fruit salad here. That sounds yummy. Let's get 10 of those and then some creamed corn behind it. So it doesn't seem to matter if I if I eat like cooked meat versus a cooked like fruit salad or the cream of corn. It's about a hundred food, but everything gives me, it's like maximum health, maximum stamina, decreased water consumption. It's really good to have this stuff. So eat up. I do have a solo point. What do we want to do for that? Now oh, we could get this, the big three here, increased yield from trees, stone and harvesting. Sure, sounds good to me. And I feel like we should do another mission here because Oh, this is a farming one. Those are usually not too bad. Uh, we need some XP. We need to level up so that we can get a blueprint point and unlock the concrete powder thing. I didn't see where that came in at. Check the map. Okay, right across the way here. We'll leave Kiri to it. He's a little bit roughed up. Oh, you know what? I was just thinking about it. I, do, I think this is the it's where we're going to put the cocoa that it wants me to grow. Yeah, farming cocoa, grow and deliver. 30 cocoa to the retrieval pod. I don't even know if I have any cocoa beans. Let's see here. Cocoa. The fruit of the cocoa tree. I, it is, that's, that's not a bean though, is it? Seems like the seeds have a different appearance. Yeah, these are the seeds up here. Berry, wheat, corn, corn, carrot. 
fiber, soybean. Well, let's go make some room in the garden. I don't think we need the carrots anymore, do we? Yeah, harvest up all the carrots and we'll pick the seeds out too. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything with this soy here. What if I destroy it? I don't think that's going to give me anything either. Okay, so we got to figure out how to get a cocoa seed. Well, I did make up a sickle at one point, and I think this helps with harvesting. I think you get more for using it. I'm not sure if that increases the probability of getting a seed or not, but we just need to look around for some cocoa plants, and I really, I don't know what those look like. Here's a soybean plant. Okay, I know what those look like now. Getting the seeds is not such a bad idea because I did see that you can actually make seed oil, which I'm sure has some sort of later crafting implication. I found a tea bush. Okay, that's interesting. We can make some tea, maybe? Coffee, oh, that's nice. What's this here? That's another tea bush, berry bush. Man, okay, not having any luck so far. Maybe I'm looking in the, the wrong area? What's this? More berries. Starting to get late too. We might have to call it here soon. Jeez, I can see why they label this a hard mission. Found some carrots here. Oh, here's cocoa. Oh, these things. Okay. Can I get a seed? Okay, I got three seeds. Nice. Okay, I've seen these things everywhere. I've just been not paying any attention. I thought it was some other kind of a fruit. All right, there we go. That puts me up to... Oh, jeez. Okay, we have five seeds now. That's not terrible. It's enough to get me started. I'll just look for some more on the way back. Oh, boy. I just got back to the hut here and I see some broken stone. Can, can I not walk on stairs now? Come on now. What is the situation here? Okay, we do have some damage to the steps. Okay, I thought this was, I thought this stuff was weatherproof. It's not weatherproof? Oh, okay. Or did something like fall on the, oh, there was a battle here. Jeez, Kiri, you're drawing too much attention to yourself. Did you even kill this rabbit here? Okay, I wanna actually, carry the rabbit and bring it indoors so that I can chop it up on the butchering table here. At least I think that's how it works. What do I do here? Device inventory. Okay, put the rabbit in there. Rabbit carcass craft. And that's done. And that just gives me the normal stuff. I guess just more of it probably. And I don't, I don't think I can bring the big game. Well, bully zebra. Okay, maybe I can actually bring big game over here. I don't know quite how to do that yet, though. All right, let's get those cocoa seeds in the ground. The sooner the better. One, two, three, four, five. And once we do the harvest, we can put some more in. Otherwise, uh, what's gonna be the shortfall for crafting some of these uh, good food items here? Stuffed avocado, that sounds nice. Avocado. I, have, I definitely have not seen any of that around. Must have been quite a battle here. They've they've destroyed like eight pieces of stone. Jeez, I am so painfully close to leveling up. I can just taste level 23 right now and we need that. So I'm gonna find an activity to do for the night and then I'm gonna sleep off the darkness and we'll pick things up in the morning. All right, it's a fresh new day and I did level up last night. So let's spend those blueprint points. Definitely steel bloom, have to have that. And I think I'll save the other points because I always uh, rush and unlock things and then I'm <laughs> bottlenecked until I get my next level. So we do have one talent point though. I'm gonna keep pushing for lucky strike. So I'll take that one into iron miner. That should be next up. 1% chance to instantly break minerals. Okay, so that steel bloom has a variety of ways you can craft it. It can be iron and charcoal, iron ore and charcoal, iron ingots and coal, or iron ore and coal ore. Well, I am swimming in charcoal right now, so let's use that. And we will have to use the iron ingots because I think I've smelted all of my iron into ingots. So let's grab um, 60, 80, a hundred of that and grab this max crab that's only good for 33 yikes well let's check on that garden here looks like we are are we ready we are ready let's do this that gets me up to 23 i need seven more okay take the coffee out oh that one just grew perfect timing not sure if it makes any difference but now we can use the cocoa seeds with the outline that are grown by the prospector maybe they're a little bit um you know, they're like a domesticated plant, right? They grow better. <laughs> At least that's what I'm telling myself. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing here, huh? Okay, wait. No, no, no. No. Whoops. Yeah, cancel that. How do I how do I pick them up? Because I want to bring them into the bench over here. Oh, here we go. If I put the knife away. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew I could do that because I had done it before. Okay. Oh. Maybe I can do that to like the horses and everything, okay? And 
press F to place and let's chop them up. I think we can only do one at a time this way though. And um, yeah, I'll just let the meat rot in there. It's okay, we, we have plenty of food. We're not hurting for meat at all. Like I have 19 cooked meat right here and wash that down with some fresh rainwater. Okay, at this point, I'm wondering if the thing to do is to build the loft that I've been planning on building here. We have to wait for the crops to grow to finish that mission anyway. So let's get started on some building materials. I have a massive collection of wood out back here. Give me some of that. Okay, and I, I should plan this out so I don't make excess materials so I can get all the crafting done at once. Okay, at some point we really need to figure out the whole water situation. Like this, the masonry bench over here requires, well it doesn't re require, but water increases the speed. I just don't know how to get it there. And I don't know how to fill this up more efficiently because this has a huge capacity for water. Okay, I can drink from the reservoir here. I can access the reservoir. I made some extra water skins. I just want to like pack these in there because they just fill up passively over time. You can put some ice in there if you want to melt it. Okay, so if I take up all the filled water skins and I use them in the inventory, then I can fill up the water trough here. This is just a very deep, this has like a 10 liter capacity. So that's 10 water skins. I really don't want to have to do this all the time. Okay, well, despite the fact that there is a search function, it's um, it's not not as helpful as I would like. Okay, what about pipes? I don't see any pipes. What about a pump? Oh, oh, <laughs> shotgun, okay. Is it maybe a tier four item that I'm just way, oh, water pump right here. Okay, that requires power. Oh, crafted the fabricator. Yeah, okay. Oh, and water piping tool. Okay, so this is just, it's, it's, off in the future, we can't do it now. We gotta do this all manually. Fill, fill, fill. Okay, that's that's gonna be good for now. It's even more than 10. It's probably 15 liters to fill that. Oh, and due to all the fighting, this is about to break. Maybe we should look into getting some defenses out here. I've seen that there's de there are defensive fortifications and spikes. That might be helpful. Or maybe we <laughs> close the door next time. I don't really know. All right, anyway, this all should be done over here. And we need to start by yanking these roof pieces off. I'm gonna set floor pieces just like... S Why did you rotate like that? Don't do that, please. There we go. And eventually we'll get a staircase or something that brings us up here. Uh, but for now, luckily we do also have these um, pillars here. Oh, the rain collector is officially going to have to be moved. All right, we'll set that down later. I think we lost all the water in it, but I'm not too worried about that. All right, so let me lay the covered, I guess we'll call it a covered porch here. Oh yeah, this is nice. I like this already. Just need a way to get up here now. We'll just do a staircase kind of over on this end. We'll have to rearrange things a little bit. Stone ramp here. <laughs> it doesn't have to be stone, really. In fact, I would prefer it to be um, that nice interior wood, right? Because I've, I've, I made a whole bunch of refined wood. How do I make a nice interior staircase? I get the copper nails, that's how. Got a whole bunch of them. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Nice interior wood, ooh, very pretty. And this will give us a whole lot more workshop space up here. All right, that'll be our new workshop level up here. All right, let's go back to the carpenter's bench here because I'm starting to see what I can do here. Interior wood half pieces we need. One, two, three, four of those. Or interior wood railing. That's, oh, that's what needs to go outside, isn't it? Okay, we'll see what that looks like inside first. And I'm just gonna grab up some fur here because I can see that there's an option for a nice carved wood bed. Start working on that too. Don't worry, I see you out there, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, how did that not kill you? You hang out there for a minute. <laughs> I'll be back for you in a little bit. Okay, nice wood rails here. Do we have, are there options for this? We do have, oh, oh, a staircase rail. Okay, in that case, I need another one. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Oh, that's looking great. I wonder if I can get some like half, or no, I'll do full pillars here maybe. What's going on here? Oh, Wolfie came for his brother, I think. Okay, you, you also can hang out there temporarily. Any more? I think that should be a window there in the middle. I think it probably should. Going. Yeah, put a nice middle window in there. That's nice. Okay, here's the other consideration. Maybe we do a sloped roof on this side, like where these are here. Let's just let's pull these up and see how that would look. 
that'll be like one, two, three, four, five, like this. We'll put the triangles in there and we'll have a double high ceiling up here for the workshop. A little bit less claustrophobic, but also means I'm going to need five, nine more wall pieces. Oh, geez. Kiri, did, did you eat him? I wouldn't be surprised with those massive teeth there. Oh, geez, weather is incoming. Okay, get the roof on. Uh, what do we need here? All of my nice interior wood is about to get destroyed, I think. Oh, crap, there's another wolf in here, I think. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Kiri, I got another snack for you. Okay, I don't believe that we're gonna need windows here for these. I can always take them down and put one on, though, if it looks like uh, we need some more skylight. All right, we're ready for, is it floor pieces? Floor, oh, there's trap door as well, so we can go up on the rooftop if we ever wanted to. Oh, I can put like a rooftop garden up there. Okay, someday, but not right now. Okay, so that is done. That looks kind of nice in here. I like it. All right, let's now set down some of these workstations again. Plenty of real estate now, at least, you know, temporarily, I'm sure we'll fill this in pretty quickly. And while the storm is ongoing, let's just drop the rain reservoir outside over here. Okay, now I just picked up the steel bloom. We need to figure out how to make that into steel. Is it just you throw it in here and yes, that will turn into steel in a little bit. Okay, I've got a perfect place to put the bed now. This little alcove underneath the staircase. Okay, let's set it right there. Oh, that looks much, much nicer. And yes, set that for the spawn point. What else can we get for furniture? We have some uh, wardrobes, cabinets, shelves, and tables. I think we could definitely use a nice round table. After that, a wood cabinet. Set that cabinet down right here. That looks nice. And that has, oh, just a little tiny bit of storage. That's kind of sad. And a nice round table here. And we'll get some chairs for that and maybe a little bit close to the fireplace, don't you think? Maybe put the mortar and pestle up on that. Cool, I like that. Okay, so at this point, most of the crafting stations have been moved up here. Looking pretty good, plenty of headroom here. What does it look like from outside? <laughs> it's because it's probably hideously ugly. This is not exactly a, um, yeah. Not exactly a, an architectural marvel from the outside. Well, I think at last our cocoa seeds have sprouted into cocoa plants so we can gather these up and go turn them in for the mission. All right, space station people, here's your cocoa. Keep the change, buy a gift for you. Whoop, and this over here is our reward pod. How about something good this time? Okay, so we've got some crates over here. We have some really good food, actually. Saltwater fish sashimi or Iron throwing knives and steel javelins. Can't say that I've been much into the steel or iron like throwables, so let's give those a try. And that was good for 30 ren and 15,000 XP. And that means I'm about halfway to the next level, I think. <laughs> Maybe in the grand scheme of things, we do like a, like a TP style, like a, what do they call those? A-frame houses? Nah, you gotta, you gotta cut me some slack here. My first time building in a new game, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll figure it out. On the inside though, I don't think you can argue. This actually, is, it looks pretty nice in here. Ah, you know what we probably should have done though, is just done a sloped ceiling right here, like connecting to the top of this frame to that, the edge of that, the middle here. That might have looked a little bit better. It's all right, I can always rip these off and move them around if I please. For now though, it is getting a little bit late. I think if I just start the fire up, I can sleep through the night. All right, a little bit of morning water here. Oh, there's no water in the water thing. There are water skins in the water thing though. That works in a pinch. Okay, what do we get for new missions today? Quests, mining, hard. Well, it wasn't so hard the last time or Crazed creature. Hunt down a creature driven mad by the terraforming process. I think I like the sound of that one a little bit more. Oh, okay, it, it tells me right where he is. On the map, not too far away. All right, let's go investigate. It kind of makes me think, I should get a melee weapon at some point, because the bow, it's not exactly great in close quarters. Oh, we could try out the, the new stuff though. Throwing knives or javelins. Should have brought Kiri with me. Kiri's much better at fighting than I am. <laughs> okay, we're coming up on the spot here. I've turned out the torch so that I can sneak a little bit better. It is just early morning here, so not very good lighting yet. There it is, the roaming beast. 
I'm gonna guess it's a bear. Currently, he has the high ground, so I'm gonna skirt around this way and see if I can get the upper hand on him. All right, I'm listening very closely. I can hear boar around here. Maybe this is a boar after all. Nope, he's triggered. Could be a wolf. Oh, it's a wolf for sure. Whoa. Okay, uh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm like literally stuck. Okay, unstuck me, please. Wow. Yeah, that's happened to me a few times where I, I get stuck and then there's nothing I can do. I have to hit that button to unstick myself. I guess that's why the button's there. Oh, you can see it's health. It still has a ton of health. Okay, I'm gonna just go with throwing knives now. Turn the light on so I can see a little bit better. Where are you at, buddy? Take that. Is he stuck now? I think he was for a second. Whoa. Just throw, throw, throw. Come on, come on. I don't think I'm getting these, um, many of these throwing knives back. They're, they're kind of everywhere. Okay, well, that didn't do very much damage at all. Over to the javelins now. Whoop. Okay, I am bleeding. Um, crap. Also out of stamina here. Swoo. Okay, hide on the rock for a second. These things are not great. <laughs> I have missed like four or five. Okay, I'm done with that. Those can go in the garbage. Okay. That's over with. The Alpha Wolf. Oh, dear. Oh, there's our reward over there. Okay, I'm bringing this guy with me because I imagine he's going to produce, like, one of those heads that I can mount. And the reward is going to be rustic furniture. No thanks. I can make the good stuff now. Oh, new species, avocado. Yep, okay, that's the one. Give me all that and run away. All right, let's drop this guy off at the skinning bench here. No, it's not even a recipe to do that. Okay, well... I guess I'll just have to do it with a knife. I should hopefully still be able to get, yeah, the alpha wolf head. Oh, what's this? Black wolf tooth. I wonder if that's some sort of, like, tool or something. Well, with the avocados, I can now make the stuffed avocado, which is kind of cool. If I make... Those are going to rot, though, right? I'm imagining. Yeah, those will go bad after a while, so... Hmm. Yeah, so will the avocados, I guess. Nice, we get a nice varied diet now, though, that's for sure. All right, let's drop in some avocado plants here. And I really want to figure out how to make the alpha wolf into a trophy. Let's, um, that's, I, is that a blueprint thing, or, uh, I, I forget how to do that. We can do the basic rug set. Okay, we can grab that. Okay, oh, jeez, I just finally found it. Okay, the trophy bench. Yeah, we need that. All right, there it is. Man, <laughs> this is filling up quickly. We're gonna need a much bigger base here. There we go, Alpha Wolf Trophy. Now the question is, is it really that small? No, I was hoping it would be kind of bigger. Okay, <laughs> let's put that, um, I don't know, right there for now. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and as we get more and more kills here and some maybe some good trophy fish, we will decorate the walls. All right, what do we get for missions now? This is a oh, downed drone. Locate the downed drone and protect it while it uploads its data. Time sensitive. I don't like the, the things where you have to defend. I will do the collect a radar and perform a simple scan for the UDA. Collect the radar from the Sinatai delivery pod, which is straight that way. Everything lands so freaking far away. All right, fine. Here I go. All right, here it is. This should be the device that we need. Radar. All right, take that and kill him real fast. Oh, there's actually a thing right here. It wants me to put it down here, maybe? Okay, I can do that. Press F. Uh, activate station. Okay. All right, there's just a timer, I guess, on the left there. 5%, 6%. Am I supposed to defend this or something? You know, I think I'll have to probably pick this up and bring it to another location. Nope, we are under attack here. Yep, this is definitely like a wave defense kind of thing here. Okay, just working on archery skills then. Oh, that was a boar. My bad. That's a wolf. Go oh, crap. I leveled up. Nice. Oh my god, it's a bear. Oh, jeez. Are you too- oh crap! Okay, oh just dodge, just dodge. Duck and dodge. And whoa, here we go. Come and get it. Oh nice, I got him. It ain't over yet though, we are only- well, we're 97%, I'm out of ammo. Quick, give me- give me arrows. I think we're done. Do I have to pick this up or collect the station? There we go, I got it. My goodness. Okay, I think that's over. You want some of this, boar? What is with all the animals here? Okay. Threat number one. Oh, the boar is eating uh, my bear. We don't want that. Here, get the throwing knives out. Eat that. 
All right, we have so many creatures to harvest up now. I don't want any of this to go to waste. And I've been finding that the pickaxe is working really good just for destroying the, the bone skeleton afterward. All right, we are 100%. Let's go check the reward then. Oh, wait. Uh, we don't get a reward. We have to put this thing back, I think, is the quest. Yes. Good to go. Where's my reward? Oh, there it is. All right, what about this time here? Ooh, what's this? Alteration bench with an advanced attack speed attachment. We'll definitely take that. Sure. All right, let's go set that up. But first, get rid of some of these stupid heads. <laughs> so many heads. There's the alteration bench. There's my bear trophy. Looks very small. Not pleased with that. The bear was much bigger. And now we have this advanced attack speed attachment, which I don't know. Do I put that in there and then wait, place an item in the slot above to access attachments. So it's a matter of what do we want to put this on? By the look of it, it can go on to pretty much anything except for a bow. I'm going to try the bow anyway. I don't have any options on the bow. Okay, let's try the axe. There we go. Okay, so then I can put this on and I can say alter. That's going to do plus 20% melee attack speed. Okay, maybe we should look into getting a, a, like a steel spear, like a good melee weapon. All right, let's go into tech and uh, we do have the option to unlock the steel spear here. Ah, what's going on? Terranus attack. <laughs> Oh, see, you see all those numbers there? That's because, okay, Kiri, you've been doing a lot of collateral damage here to the place. I think it's time for you to live outside. I will probably work on getting your food trough and stuff out here on the porch so that you can stop breaking everything. Okay, well, I just made up the steel spear that took all of my, st oh, not all, but the majority of my steel to do so. All right, over to the alteration bench. Give me my ax back and you can take the spear with this advanced mod and let's say alter. Okay, that's gonna take a second. Good to go. All right, there's my makeshift spear. Okay, and through all of this, we still haven't even made, oh, that's right, we're gonna make the, the steel into the forge. Okay, so we'll need to make a little bit more steel before we can do that. Also need a cement mixer and a concrete furnace, which requires concrete mix. Presumably you get that from the cement mixer. Okay, that is going to require a lot more mining. All right, put these throwing knives and stuff away. We don't need to carry that around anymore. Let's make sure that we have a little bit of food on us. Crafting up a couple of extra arrows here. Okay, so I think the thing to do now is a big mining expedition. So we're gonna need to bring back a whole bunch of iron ore. So I'm gonna hop on Kiri K's here and we're gonna go find ourselves some mines. So I hope you'll join me again next time as we do that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in for this one and I will catch you hopefully in the next video. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.